this projector behaves differently in each version of Counter-Strike. In Counter-Strike Source, you can see that the player doesn't cast a shadow onto the wall behind them. But the projector does light the player up. Sure, it's only a generic looking bright light, and it's only per polygon so it appears to dance across my person as he moves. But I do like how it lights him up more the closer to the projector that he gets. There's something very convincing about how it does this one particular thing. In CSGO, I think the projection gets brighter the closer the player is stood to it, or it might just be the glowy effect accompanying this projector model that's doing that. But one thing's for sure, in CSGO it does correctly project the projection onto the player model, instead of just being a bright light like it was in CSS. So I think this is an improvement, even if the player still doesn't cast a shadow across the screen behind him. But CS2 finally nails it! It can get all three aspects completely right. Because the image is still projected onto the player, it now gets brighter the closer the player is to the projector, and the player can finally cast real-time shadows onto the wall behind him. It's even better than this, as you can see that even individual items dangling from the body now cast shadows onto whatever's behind them. Self-shadowing. And you can see that CSGO and CSS were both unable to do this. So this is a big win for CS2, even if you're never going to notice it in a proper match. But who plays Office competitively anyway? Actually don't answer that. No, I think this is a great little detail that's been featured on the correct map. Because this is hostage mode. Nobody should take it seriously, with the terrorists camping this room every round and staring at each other's models in way too much detail as they await for the CTs to finally attempt and fail to storm the room. Well done Valve, now go and make it work on all graphic settings.